One of our favorite taglines is simple, hard, effective. And that's because the most effective training is simple and hard. Now at first, those two words might seem at odd with each other, but they're not. The opposite of simple is complicated, and the opposite of hard is easy. What most people wanna do when they go to the gym is a combination of easy and complicated, because complication is seductive. Most people want simple and easy, but simple and easy don't accomplish anything. So what most people often do is complicated and easy, or it's more ambitious big brother, complicated and hard, which certainly isn't the most effective way to train. Simple plus hard is the answer. You wanna lose fat and get stronger? It certainly isn't complicated, but it also isn't easy. It's gonna require hard work, but that hard work is actually pretty simple. Now in our last video, we talked about the exercises that we choose to get us strong. And we came up with four basic exercises based on our three primary criteria. Our three criteria being, we're gonna pick exercises that use the most muscle mass with the most weight and perfect form for the greatest effective range of motion. And when we do that, we end up with the squat, the deadlift, the bench press, and the press. The squat is just a simple exercise where we put a bar on our back and we squat down on the middle of our foot below parallel with our hip crease just below the top of our knee and use hip drive to come back up. The entire body is loaded and here's the thing, it's a simple exercise, but it's definitely the hardest exercise. That's why most people don't wanna squat. You walk into a gym on any day of the week, but especially Monday, and all the bros are doing bench press. Rarely will you walk in on Monday and see a bunch of people squatting. And it's because it's so hard. The body responds to squats in a way that it won't respond to any other lift, both muscularly and hormonally. Now a deadlift is just the simple act of picking a heavy loaded barbell up off the floor. We do it with perfect form, with a totally flat back, and guess what happens when we do that? Our backs get stronger. When our backs get stronger, they become less vulnerable to injury, not more vulnerable to injury. We don't have to be worried about picking weight up with our back. The press, or what most people call a military press, where we take the barbell out of the rack and just press it overhead, is an incredible exercise for upper body, utilizing the shoulders, the rear delts, the rhomboids, and the traps, and loading the entire body from the barbell at the top of our head all the way down through the bottom of our feet. And the bench press allows us to move the most weight possible in an upper body lift, so we love that lift too. So even the exercise that the bros do on Monday is perfectly fine to get strong, we just wanna make sure that we also press and squat and deadlift as well. Those four exercises will get you stronger than anything you thought possible, and for the life of your lifting career, should make up 90% of everything you do in the gym.